Hello and welcome to this setup tutorial for the board game Libertalia Winds of Gilcrest. If you also want to learn how to play this, then I have a separate video for that. First, let's set sails and get ready for the first voyage. I'll be setting it up for three players. Start by placing the game board in the middle of all players. If you've played this game a few times, you can use the other side that shows a storm. But start with easy, that shows a nice sunny day. For now, there's nothing to place on the board, and only one thing to place next to the board. Money. Here are the doubloons. Find a nice spot for a supply. It's already time to take out everything for the players. Pick a color. I'll choose green, so I get this board that shows a green line around it, but I place it face down in front of me. Then it shows this grim picture of a broken ship. This is my graveyard tile. It'll become my discard pile during the game. I have a set of cards. Here they are. They show the same green on the side. Don't shuffle them. Just place the deck face down in front of you. And I have my treasure chest with a little bit of green on the front. These are my dials where I keep track of my points. Everyone starts the game with zero points. Make sure every player's dials are on zero. That also goes in my own player area. The last thing for the general setup is seeing what everyone's reputation will be. Take out these six discs. It doesn't matter how many players there are, you need all of them. Mix them up without looking, and then one by one start placing them here where it says Reputation. You can go from left to right or the other way around, that's up to you. And that's it. This is the general setup. Now, let's prepare for the first voyage. The setup for each voyage is written here on the board. Just follow these steps and you're good to go. The first step is placing loot tokens. They're all in this bag. Shake it up. And then place as many loot tokens on each of these day spaces as there are players in the game. I'm setting it up for three people, so I place three random tokens on each day. In case you're with two players, then you also place three per space. And since I'm setting it up for voyage number one, I only place tokens on the days that are for voyage one. These last two spaces show at the bottom that they are not for voyage number one, so I leave those empty for this round. When you're done, just leave this bag on the table somewhere. You'll be needing it later. The next step that's written here is about getting six cards from your own deck. But before you do that, it's time to pick one player to be the special shuffler for the whole game. For now, that'll be me. So, I'm the only player at the table who shuffles their own cards. The other players don't shuffle their deck. And then, I deal six cards to myself. I show these cards to the other players. And then every single player plucks out the exact same cards from their deck. This is my hand of cards, so every player should also take out these numbers from their deck. That's why you don't shuffle your deck, it's much easier to find the numbers when they're all still in the right order. Every player takes their cards into their hand. You know what everyone has, but still don't show it anymore. Then comes the very last step before you're ready to play. 
Each player can take as much money as where the disc in their own color is on this reputation track. I'm green, so I can take this much money from the supply. Done! You're ready for the first round of Libertalia Winds of Gilcrest. In case you're with two players, then you place this little board right here. It should match up perfectly with the artwork on the main board. And if you've played this game before, you also have the choice to take out these tiles and cover up the matching spaces that are printed on the board. Either way, the setup is done. In case you'd like to know what happens next, follow me to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and see you for the next one.